if you guys see that cop over there we're doing a heavy haul and i got actually speaking of jake there is jake he's filling up with fuel but anyways we got a huge job probably the biggest job we've had in like over 10 years me and jake uh work good together and so this is gonna be basically what we're hauling is a giant excavator and we can't haul it on one truck so that means we have to haul it on two trucks and so me and Jake got to be communicating every second. We got to be reading each other's brains. I mean, we flow together like peanut butter and mayonnaise. It works good. Jake. Well, hey, Grant. You ready, man? Oh, ready as I'll ever be. I got myself my focus juice in the Wild Bean Cafe over there. And, nice. Red know, Bull? Just, uh, no, coffee. I, I got myself mm. some coffee. Got to down that real quick. Yeah, I just, I just got done. $117. Come look at this. What the heck? We got the same pickup truck. It usually doesn't cost me over 100 Holy Toledo. $117. Are you kidding me? Diesel's expensive over here. It is. Have you have we you checked better, the route? Uh, have you? I was gonna say, have you checked the route to make sure all the roads are clear? I know we got cops already sitting outside, so we better get rolling. I did. I um I called in to our uh our state uh concierge or whatever you would call them, right? Okay. Uh, make sure that we're still a go. He said yes. He said the officers are uh ready, staged to block off traffic for us. As it. There's one right over there, actually. Uh, and it seems like we should be good to go today. Uh, the electric company has been notified as well to raise some high lines and things like that for us. So a lot of moving parts. That'll be good. Hey, did you measure that bridge ahead of time? The bridge we got across? Yeah, they said we should just skate by. Okay. We have maybe half an inch at best. Well, guys, you guys know what we're doing. If you guys end up enjoying this video, please consider helping me out by smashing that like button. I'd always appreciate it. And as always, I'll link Jake's channel down below if you want to check out Jake's channel also. So, those are two Kenworths. Hold on, watch this. Come on, get out, brother. Uh, uh, all right, if you get a little black on your white truck there, it's not my fault, man. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Oh, gosh. Oh, there you you're go. making this old man work. What are you doing? <laughs> Which one's yours again? Uh, the orange one. Right. <laughs> hey, little chunky, you got your ears on? All right, listen, bud. We got to do our uh, pre-trip inspection. We got to go around, make sure all the lights are in order, make sure all your cables are attached, airlines are good, airbags are inflated. Everything's good to go. Flags in place, oversized load signs, and then we'll hit the road here. So, you'll... And the big difference between our two trucks here, you'll notice I've got the uh, the heavy duty drop axle here. You've got the steerable, right? So and I still means... think the steerable is better than the drop axle, but no, Papa <laughs> oh, Pickle okay. always wants to say he needs a drop axle on his truck, even though okay. Boss says we should get steering axles. You know what? I was about to compliment you, but maybe not now. I was gonna say that mine will work better for weight distribution, while yours is gonna be better to be the pilot, the the main truck for control into the turns. True, no, true, you, you, true, you, you, true. No, no, you insulted my, my heavy duty axle I'm just axle saying, now. I don't want to hear it. 99% of truckers agree a steering axle is better than a drop axle, but hey, it is what it is. Some guys are drops, some guys are steers. Lights, lights are all looking good. Says the man without any lights on. Your lights are looking real good. Oh, I forgot to turn on the back beacons. Oh, better check that real quick. I'll watch back here. Looking good. Yep, they're working. Can, hey, can you, right. turn, can you turn my lights on? Uh, yeah, if you say please. Can you please turn my lights on? Gosh, dude, yeah, you needy prick. I heard that. What? Yep, they're working. Are they? Are they? You, you don't need anything else, do you? I do not. I think we're good. Well, then we better get rolling before, uh, <laughs> before the police get mad at us for taking too long. Uh, I like to mess with them every once in a while. Good. Okay, boy. Take the lead. Well, who pulled these trucks in here like this? I think that was us last night. Well, we're going to blame Tim. Tim it is. Can we tell the boss man to get wider gates here? I know. He always says next year. Uh, Push her up to 12, that... Jake. All right. Putting her yep. up to 12. So what happens, we're going to want to run this thing in cruise control the whole time. And the inside truck always makes the calls. Okay. Now... The outside truck will notice they have to take a little bit wider of a turn, which means they might have to say you drop down to, to four mile an hour, five mile an hour. The outside truck might have to go up to six or so okay. to maintain that distance difference. You know what I'm saying? Yep, that'll work good. I'll do my thing as the inside guy, and you just match whatever I do as the outside guy. Whatever you need to do to stay with me. Yep, it's all about communication. So when we're coming up to a turn, don't be afraid to 
well before you know just take it down one mile an hour at a time go yep. 12 to 2 or 12 to 11 to 10 so on and so forth okay that'll work good speaking of that okay. let's go up to 20 here we go 13 right. 14 copy 13 copy 14 all right well notice up here we're coming up to a bridge and luckily uh each one of our trailers are wide enough to fit within one lane so if we take the center of our lane we should be able to squeeze between everything here okay but we are going to end up putting our trailers a little close to each other when we do so yep right there will do looks like we we're not going to disconnect the trucks just yet okay because we don't know the actual width we need to be set at but we're going to assume that uh that that's a good place to start right there okay that'll be good let's go grab the machine all right race you there Oh, that's one there's a rotten egg. First one there gets to drive it. Get on my shoulders and pull that thing ladder down, would you? Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, let me jump. Stand still, stand still. Hold on, I'm yep. a little chubby. You should probably get on top of me. Okay, okay. Ready? Yep. There you go. Watch out, she's coming down. Okay. Jake, I maybe will just drive over our trailers and just put this thing on. But maybe, could you attach the trucks and we can get the trucks unstarted? That way, I don't have to climb down the Eiffel Tower to get uh, get down to the ground. Oh my uh, gosh, yeah. our trailers look tiny. <laughs> They're not even one trailer is the what size the of heck? one track. Yeah, I need binoculars to read the oversized load sign. The trailers are just wide enough for the tracks, and uh, we will need to be spaced out a lot more. In Could fact, we might need grab to be so my truck out. and space it out. All right. Here, hold down on, Jake. Road. I can I can just probably lift you up you think i'll slide your back end over for you there you go okay jake i'm just gonna drive over top of the side <laughs> okay do i need to get into the truck and hold the brakes yeah you should probably put the parking brake on all right <laughs> okay jake give her man all right i got the parking brakes on one thing we might want to have thought about is, should we back this thing on? Because I'm not so sure we want that gigantic uh, we, bucket of doom. We can just rotate. We'll just rotate. You can rotate it around. Okay, I'll grab my ratchet strap. Right. The one ratchet strap. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Let me turn this thing around real quick. Okay, Jake. I think we're all strapped down. We got the one ratchet strap on it, right? Yep. She's blind. DOT certified. Okay, we have to pull this up those hills. And then get it underneath a bridge. Here we go. Here we go. We might be able to do it. <sighs> okay. Starter at one mile an hour. Ready at one. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Nice. How you looking? You're going a little faster. I got to catch up. Do I have to catch okay. up? Yep. Go to two then. You're on the wide. Keep moving left for you if you can. Yep. I'll move left with you. Moving left, nice and easy. There we go. Yes, sir. Woo, my trailer's on its side, boys. Ooh. Nice. It's taking, I'm losing grip here. I'm gonna come back over just a little bit. There we go. Keep her straight, maybe with a little curve to the right. Just a tad bit of curve. Copy that. We're spinning, I'm getting a little slip over here on my right side. Yeah, I was getting a little slip too. I came to my left a little bit more and it calmed down. Here we go. Ooh, it's picking come up. On. I gotta cut right. I'm about to come to a full stop here. Okay, we gotta... Come on. Come on. There we go. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed up to two for a second to catch you. That All slips. Right. That slip just keeps getting faster and faster back there. Come on. Yep. You know what? Let me drop my axle. So you finally put that drop axle down. Yes, I could have used the drop axle instead of the steering axle. Drop to one mile... I'm dropping back to one mile an hour. Alright, you're taking lead here. Yes. I believe your interior, right? Stop. All right, full stop. Hold on. I don't know, man. I don't know how we're going to do this. We may have to get off and walk this. I think, uh... We're so close, though. I think we might just have to get the people down in the quarry to take one of their other uh, big pieces of equipment, put a chain on us, and just yank us up real quick. Jake, we could try to do it the old-fashioned way. Put cruise control on at one mile an hour on my truck. I get out. I get in an excavator and push off with the excavator thumb to push us up this hill. And you know you what? I think that's what we have to do. Yep. Okay. I'll that's do that. That's a good that. idea. I'm going to set her for one mile an hour. She's going to be spinning. All right. I'll, I'll hop back and forth from truck to truck to keep our steering. 
Well, I don't think we're going to be able to get it with just what we've got here. Um, I We can see if the, the, the mining oh, company will let us... Like, there was a wheel loader down there. Right. You think they'll let us borrow it? I'm sure they will. Nobody's around. I mean, we might as well. Let's run back there and get see it. If the, see if a key's in it. Oh, he found the keys. I think Jake has some experience operating wheel loaders too. So I'll have him push from behind and we're going to try and get this beast moving. It's going to be a lot though. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but we'll see. Okay, Does let's do so? that. I'll jump in mine and spin the wheels. It's probably not going to do much, but. All right. Let me know when you're ready. I'm giving her. I'm bending the Jeep. <laughs> this isn't working, bud. Oh, we're full sand or no sand, am I right? Yeah, we're spinning. I thought we were moving there for a bit. Jake, maybe it'd be easier. Oh, <laughs> maybe it'd be easier for you to just drive that thing off and then we just load it once we get to the top. I think we're going to have to, and we're not breaking any rules because we're not on pavement yet. So yes. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Come on, old Betsy. Oh my gosh, we're going to destroy this thing. Hold on. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Dude, the suspension uh, on these. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, we're gonna you... break we're gonna we're can... gonna break that, that ladder. Hold I on, know. let me put this up. Okay. Yeah. On one. On two. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Oh, I see. Another track's off, but I'll be on soon. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Good? Okay. Yep. Let me get the one ratchet strap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh I'll put this. I'll swing the bucket around to the back. All right, so. Okay, starter in f one mile an hour, Jake. Copy that. Three, Starting in two, one, go. Well, it was a little dicey there, but I think we got it sorted out. Yes. Starting to come off the right side. I'm going to pull over to the right a bit. I do not want to be pulling you, though. I think we're doing well so far. We're cutting right down between the buildings. We are on pavement now, and we have... Commercial buildings around, so we gotta be extra careful. It's not like we're out in the middle of the mining area. Did I tell you that uh, yesterday, <laughs> I uh, I was actually driving home in a Prius once, and uh, and I'm, I I hit a cat at 30 miles an hour, and it actually broke my Prius. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I was joking, but no, I I hit a cat at 30 miles an hour, and it broke my Prius. My gosh. So we're to the point where. We have an easement through the middle of a field, and we had to pay a farmer off. Then, we brought in a company to lay down dirt to help us get through here. Because there is no way we are getting through this city on their streets with the light poles. Simple as that. No way. We should have thought of a plan better. So, me and Jake improvised, paid a farmer a lot of money. We're coming through a lot of fields. We even built a bridge across the creek. It cost us a lot of money, and it was very last minute, so we had an extra charge on top of it. Yes. So, long story short, we need to learn to plan better. But we're good now. Let's get to rolling. Yes, sir. Here we go. No flat tires. Looking good. All strapped down. Three, two, one, go. That's one. I'm going to go up to two to match. Yes, two. The crossing should be wide enough for both of our trucks, though, I think. I oh, think we'll be all man, right. I hope. It is a little hilly, so we got to worry about bottoming out. Yes. Yep, it is a little bit of a steep grade down in there. But that could we'll be a worry problem. about that when we get there. Yeah, we'll literally cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Throughout this whole process, what do you think so far? Steer axle or heavy drop? Heavy drop axle. You got it Heavy right, drop. man. I thought so. Even if we drop it in the water, we could still drive it out. So I'm one speeding thing up that a bit just to catch you because I'm on the outer edge. All right, now what do you think? Should we get a little bit of speed for this this hill? I know that sounds weird, but we got to make sure we clear it. Yeah. Okay, crank her up to four. I guess it's full send. Copy. Oh, and uh, at four. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, All or nothing. Engines are purring, baby. We got it. Oh, she's dragging. We got her, though. We got her. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh. I'm stuck. We need to figure out something. Uh, I think we need to re-go, you know, re, uh, re-look at the drawing board. I better call the farmer up and tell him we're just going to park it here for now, for the night. Yeah. Gosh yeah, darn it. It ain't getting anywhere. The state's going to be mad. The mining company's going to be mad. We're going to take a loss on profit. 
We might this even lose mess. money on this. Oh, we are going to lose money on it, guaranteed. Well, you know what? That's what we get for not having done it for 12 years, but I'm sure we'll get it next time, right? Yes, sir. That's a possibility. Another possibility, we swap out trucks. We get a, a four-truck unit out here, and we get that extra power. True. We'll have to try I guess that. we'll see. All right. Well, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, but getting this excavator without driving it is nearly impossible. It is so tough to haul this thing, but, hey, it's a good challenge. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, I'll see you next one. Thanks, guys.